Westminster tornado. What am I talking about? Tuesday we had one drop down out of a cloud. Yeah, it's late and late ad, but it's still significant. Winds to 75 miles per hour, path length about a half mile, 75 yards wide. No injuries or structural damage, but about a dozen trees were sheared off. So it was very brief. Uh, there was some rotation detected by radar, uh, but that far away from the radar site, it's difficult to actually see a touchdown other than unless you have ground truth. 68 out in Fitchburg right now in Lemonster 2, 66 in Bedford, 68 in Norwood, 70 in Boston. Nice night. I see a few showers actually uh, floating right over places like Westminster and out near Orange right now on the Mohawk Trail. There are a few more in the upper Connecticut River Valley and more in northern Vermont as well, but things are pretty quiet. It's one of those situations where these showers will sprout on their own. There's nothing we're really waiting for, like a front or a low pressure system. There's just enough instability to get these things going. Cooler times ahead. The 80s are done. We're putting those to bed for a little while, almost a week, and a soaking rain Saturday night with a lot of wind, too. Salvaging Sunday. That's the late word besides the tornado, too, tonight. We could get some drier air in here on Sunday to actually get some sunshine in here. I'm not promising anything just yet. The weather models are all crisscrossing, and they're not necessarily all jiving on that Sunday forecast just yet. Let's get Friday under our belt, though. A lot of clouds around, a sprinkle or a shower, and then in the afternoon, it looks like most of the shower activity pulls off Cape and off of the islands. There still may be one or two renegade showers that pop up if the sun comes back out in the afternoon. I don't expect a lot of it, sun or showers, so this isn't a washed out day, nor is it bright blue. It's kind of right down the middle. With the temperatures cooling off in that northeast wind, we'll see 70s for the most part, although upper 60s right along the coastal plain and down through the south shore and out through Cape Cod as well. 72 Brockton, 74 in Wellesley, Boston about 70 degrees. So a 60% chance of showers on Saturday coming in late day. It looks like this weather system wants to rush in here, but this is one of the models that keeps it mostly dry on Saturday. You want to root for that one? Go right ahead, but I'd rather get it over with, get the showers in here late Saturday. At least you can salvage some part of Sunday. You get them in here sooner, you push them away. There is a little dry wedge of air that moves in on Sunday in the afternoon. This is what I'm really hoping for and holding out for to bring back the sunshine and at least dry out part of the day. So we'll go half and half. Half of Saturday, the early part of it's dry. The shower should arrive maybe between 3 and 7 p.m. And then Sunday, they should be departing in the early afternoon with peaks of sun in the afternoon. So 70 and 74. It's not all that warm, no, but, you know, we're making do. See you tomorrow.